Greetings, literature lovers. We were talking about the American Revolution and how France helped America in the Declaration of Independence. And France formally approved British American terms, and America alone gained from war. That's the signing of Treaty of Paris, painting by Benjamin West, portrays John Jay, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Henry Lawrence, William Temple, and Franklin. The American society during the war includes the casualties of 10,000 British and 25,700 patriots, the soldiers' death, and Patriot troops outnumbered the British, were poorly fed and clothed. Only 28% of those who died were killed in battle. The rest died from disease of exposure or as prisoners. So, women in the revolution, Polly Pitcher. You can see. And women supported the cause. Abigail Adams and Abigail Adams to John Adams, March 31st, 1776, says that I long to hear that you have declared an independence and by the way, in the new code of laws, which I suppose it will be necessary for you to make, I desire you would be, you would remember the ladies and be more generous and favorable to them then your ancestors do not push such unlimited power into the hands of the husbands remember all men would be tyrants if they could if particular care and attention is not paid to the ladies we are determined to foment a rebellion and will not hold ourselves bound by any laws in which we have no voice or representation John Adams to Abigail Adams, that's 14th April 1776. As to your extraordinary code of laws, I cannot be laugh. You are so saucy, I won't blot it out. Depend upon it, we know better than to reply our masculine systems. Although they are in full force, you know they are little more than theory. We dare not exert our power in its full latitude we are obliged to go soft fair and in practice we know we are the subjects we have only the name of masters and other than give up this we would completely subject us to the despotism of the petticoat i hope george washington and all our brave heroes would fight then abigail to adams on may 7 1776. I cannot say that I think you are very generous to ladies, for since you are proclaiming peace and goodwill to men, emancipating all nations, you insist upon retaining an absolute power, our wives. African Americans include the 5,000 fought for the US and nearly 30,000 fought for Britain. Why? Then the Battle of Copen William Rainey, 1845, an unnamed black patriot fires his pistol at the Red Coats and saves the life of Colonel William Washington. The death of Major Pearson John Singleton Copley, an African American soldier fighting for Britain, is shown in detail for the, from the painting. So you can see a uh, something new. The 1780 drawing of American soldiers from the Yorktown campaign shows a black infantry from the first Rhode Island regiment. I'm talking about the Native Americans, most who fought in the war sided with British since the US seemed a much larger threat in terms of land exposition. Iroquois forced to move to Canada after the war and the chief John Monster Brand fought led his troops on behalf of Great Britain during the revolution. 
Gilbert Stuart 1786 and the memory aid for events leading up to the revolution. Pretty, silly, timey bagged tea cookies inside freshy layered spicy dough. So this is the whole aid in proclamation 17. 63 stamp act 65 then township act these are the short names it's called so you can memorize it accordingly boston massacre t act committees of correspondence intolerable act first continental congress then lexington and concord and second continental congress and a declaration of independence so that's how it ends and you can memorize it and these are the short form used in it that's all for the american revolution thanks for being part of it